Hi there, Scorpio. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 11th of June. I hope you're really well today. So in the Northern Hemisphere, we're sort of really working our way into the meat of the summer. And if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, I hope it's not getting too cold where you are. But this is an opportunity this week for you to be thinking about your role in life in some ways, but particularly your relationships around the role you have. And this is coming from the fact that Venus moves into a new home for you, to the top of your horoscope, your solar midheaven. Now, you may see uh, the cultivation of contacts as being a little, sort of not really your thing. You leave that to the schmoozers and the people who are really going to push themselves to the next degree to make progress in their life. But it is important still to keep the door open to improving dialogue with any decision maker that you work with, any trade organisation, staying abreast with your friends about potential job opportunities. And you know, it's even possible you could encounter someone rather lovely from a romantic viewpoint uh, if you can be alert to this. Now, Mercury is also going to be moving this week into a lovely sector for you, the ninth house. So for the next three weeks, expanding your thinking, traveling more, reading, potentially doing research, anything which creates more spontaneity can be very exciting to you. But it is tr true to say there is also a new moon this week in the logical sign of Gemini. But for you, this is an echo of the basic uh, attributes of your zodiac sign. It's about transformation. It's about understanding your motives and your desires in life. And also understanding the things that maybe need to make way to be replaced by something new, fresh and more revitalised. But of course change isn't something that all of us find particularly easy. And although one of your rulers, Pluto, is manifestly about change, Mars, your other ruler, about feistiness, is quite interesting because you're a fixed sign. You can often stick with things that you know very well simply because change isn't easy. But I do feel that you can be like a Shyamalan this week and grow a new skin. You can uh, rejuvenate yourself and from this gain a much greater understanding of what you need to do. And that could be to be more enterprising in your approach, more prepared to go outside your comfort zone. It could all be very good for your soul. If you stay exactly as you are, even if life in some ways is pressing you to change, I think changes may come about, but they won't be ones you're driving so much. So if you can, try to take charge, be in control, and things can evolve in a very bright and positive way for you. It's been a real pleasure being with you, Scorpio. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now. Thank you for joining me. If you'd like to know more, please visit my website at www.patrickarendall.com or download my free app in iOS, Google or Facebook at triple w dot horoscope hyphen ace dot com. Thanks and goodbye.